everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and I'm back again with one of my manifestation videos. Today we're going to talk about shifting realities, bending realities, and what you need to know to create the life that you want. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives nothing but manifesting techniques in all different ways. The only thing I'm asking for you to do in return of this information is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the video. So now, if you want to know information about shifting realities, bending realities, to manifest what you want in life, keep watching. I'm back. Now, wow. So many people want to see their life going from A to Z. They want to create the life that they want, and they say, Yvette, what kind of manifesting technique can I use to get what I want in life? And what I want to tell these people is basically everything starts from within, you guys. Whatever you're seeing or not seeing in your life started from within. And listen, this is the topic of today, how to shift and bend your reality. Now, since birth, we were all taught going to school from our parents, from our friends, that we have to follow a certain path, okay? But hint, hint. hint. This certain path is followed by 95% of the world, maybe even 99% of the world. So what's going on that the 1% or the 5% know that the other 95% don't? And listen, that is how to create your reality. So now look, whatever it is that you were taught in school basically was to follow the mass, okay? We were taught you got to work hard. You, if, if it don't work, work even harder. Work 24 hours a day, whatever it is. But it's work, 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 work. And this is the mistake a lot of people are facing. We are looking at working harder instead of looking at ourselves as everything comes from within. Whatever it is that you want, you are projecting it out into the universe, out into your environment, and that is what you're seeing. So now... What am I getting at? You're probably saying, what are you getting at? We're talking about shifting realities, bending realities. Well, listen, you have to understand this in order for you to manifest what it is that you want. And again, don't click off because basically I'm giving you information that is life changing, not only for you, for your family. So now when we're talking about manifesting things in our lives, we're looking at it from the bottom. We're looking at it from the environment working inwards. That's not the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to shift your reality from inside to out. The things on the outside is there. Have you ever seen people that worked hard, really hard, and never seemed to make it exactly where they want to be? And then you have other people that basically everything they touch turned to gold. God has not given you less than the other person. We all have the capability of manifesting whatever it is we want on this earth. The thing is, this person that's doing well has found the secret. Maybe they know it, maybe they don't. Maybe they're working in default, but they have found the answer to manifesting whatever they want in their life. When we're talking about manifesting or shifting your reality, the main thing you need to know is that you are a spiritual being, okay? You are a spiritual being made in the image of God, the supreme being, the creator. Everything that you have been given is for you to create the life that you want. So first, you need to look at yourself as a spiritual being. The next thing, as a spiritual being with a human experience, okay? So listen, you guys, we're working from the top down instead of working from down up. The next thing is, which is the most important thing that we speak about here on this channel, and that is your beliefs. So as you know, I am a spiritual being having a human experience. I know my beliefs dictate my capabilities. My capabilities and my belief dictates my behavior. And my behavior creates my environment. So if you get what I'm saying, I'm not going from the external, the environment in. I'm going from the internal to the external. 
I create my life. So if I'm saying I create my life, how can I be dependent on the environment? Basically, whatever's going on in my life started from within. So when we're talking about shifting and bending our reality, we're starting as a spiritual being, knowing that we are made in the image of God, knowing that our beliefs dictates our capabilities, which dictates our behaviors, which dictates our environment. So now, where am I going with this, you guys? If you want to shift and bend your reality, it starts from within. Now, it's not about working harder. It's about you stating and creating whatever it is inside and projecting it out. This is the secret a lot of people don't speak about, and it is the missing ingredients to you manifesting whatever it is that you want. Now, how are we going to go about shifting or bending our reality? Now, the first thing is, and it is the biggest, and it is changing your perspective of you. If you want to be a millionaire, it is the inner you that is saying who you are. It is the inner you that believe in you being a millionaire or you making 50000 a year. The inner you is the belief that takes you there. If you have that inner belief that you can make a million dollars, it will be so. If you have the inner belief that you can make only 50000 or 30000 or maybe not work at all, that is what it's going to be. You have to change your perspective about who you are. You have to become the new you. And here, is, here it is where I tell you guys all the time. And that is the old you needs to fade away in order for the new you to give birth. Now, listen, you guys probably say, well, Yvette, what is this? I don't know about what, what is it you're talking about? The old you must fade away in order for you to step in to the new you. You cannot move forward being the same person that you were yesterday if you want to change your life. Something needs to change. It is not the environment, everyone. It is within you. So if you want to have that love of your life and live a happy life, you must first acknowledge it within be the person within that is saying, this is my divine right. This is who I am. This is who I expect to be. And not only expect it, but act it. Not only say this is going to happen, but say this is already in my life. You have to act the part and move forward because now this is the new you. If you are still living the old you, you will still act and receive what it is you were receiving the day before. It is just that simple. Your vibration is what you're putting out to the universe and saying, this is who I am. If you're feeling worried or in disbelief or feeling that you can't accumulate anything, that is your belief. That is what you are telling the universe who you are. In order to shift or bend your reality, that part of you needs to go. That part of your thinking needs to go. You need to do affirmations every day. I am rich. I am prosperous. Whatever it takes to get you to believe your new reality. This is where I say mirror work comes in. Because mirror work is a way of releasing and letting go of the old you. The old you that was the victim player. Y yeah, when I say the victim player, whoa, it's me, that They did this to me. They did this to me. No, I just did a live stream on this, okay? We don't play the victim role here. Whatever it is, everything comes from within. And once you take accountability for how things are happening in your life, you are way ahead of the game. You are now not part of that 95% or that 99%. You are now part of that 1% or 5% that get things done and are reaching great heights. Now, listen, this is big to me because this is one thing here that is going to change many of your lives. And you guys just don't know how easy it is. You must become the person that you want to be. You must see yourself and act it in the, in the physical. Whatever it is that you think you are inside is going to be reflected on the outside. So that goes back to that person that really doesn't do anything and everything he does turns to gold. That's right. 
that person has actually tapped in to who he or she is and you are seeing it on the outside. Now, where am I going with this? When I say you don't have to work harder, I'm not telling you not to take action because this is the secret, everybody. Once you, the new you, is formed inside of you, it is going to automatically have you take action. You're going to take action in the direction of whatever it is that you want in your life. This is part of the new you. The old you made excuses. The new you moved forward. This is the secret, you guys, and you guys really have to understand this. When you really become the person that you want to see in your life, it all starts again within first. Then that person, that new you, starts to make moves, start to take action in the direction of whatever it is that you want. Now, listen, I'm not saying there's something wrong with working hard. I'm not saying that. What I am telling you is that it's not necessary. When you shift or bend your reality, you have basically just created the new version of you. And that new version is going to take your life in a different direction. It is just that simple. Now, again, when I talk about techniques that you can use for this, my main thing of letting go of the old is always mirror work, you guys. It's always letting go of what no longer is needed in your life, okay? The next thing is, for me, will be total visualization of seeing myself being, doing, and having whatever it is that you want. When you see yourself as having, doing, whatever it is that you want, you are building up the confidence inside of you and you are creating that new version of you, okay? It is just that simple. So for me, visualization might be just as simple of seeing myself right now being a successful entrepreneur. It might be seeing myself with a million dollars in the bank. Now, after you finish your visualization, you might want to end it off with, God, I release, I let go, and I trust. Now, listen, again, this is stating, God, you gave me the ability to create the life that I want. You made me in your image. At this point, I'm working from within, out, knowing that it starts from me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take action in the direction of what I want in my life as if it is already done, as if I am already that person. And listen, you guys, it has to work because you are making changes within. Instead of being like the 95% of this country, this world, saying uh, someone else has to give me something. You get out there, you claim it, and you get it, okay? It is just that simple. Okay, everyone, I just explained to you how to shift or bend your reality. The main thing or the most important part of this is I explain why it works. So now if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell. But listen, most of all, just keep watching the videos. If you want to know anything about my world of metaphysics, everything is in the description from coaching, from readings, from buying products like candles, crystals, sage, Everything is in the description. But other than that, if you don't know, I'm here every Sunday morning for live stream. If you want to join like-minded people, join us every Sunday morning. Other than that, if you want to really support this channel, I do have membership. Click the join button, join membership, and namaste.